Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> so today we're gonna be doing um, a little flower arranging. This is kind of a pet peeve of mine, is people who just take flowers that they get from a friend or that they get from the floral shop and they just stick it in a vase and then they're like, Ah, voila. Flowers are beautiful all by themselves, but we can really take a regular bouquet into a fantastic bouquet and make it look like money. We can make it look really good. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. You guys know I work with flowers, dried and fresh every single day. Half of this bouquet is gonna go in my bedroom, the other's gonna go on my altar, but the dried flowers that I work with are usually from the apothecary. Even these rose, roses here are from the roses that are in my garden, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's a little pe personal pet peeve of mine because I so much of my life goes into earth magic and plant magic. So this is how I take a original basic bouquet and I turn it into just, you know, something I think is visually stunning. This bouquet that I have, I'm gonna separate this probably into two or three different bouquet, you know, groups. But, so I'm gonna start off with the pink version. This version is going to go in my bedroom, personally, this is where I want it. Shout out to Flora Savage, that is located in New Orleans, Louisiana, who provided these flowers for me. This is where I get my most of my flowers from but what you want to do is you want to get a vase and in this case i'm just using a clear cup now this is just my personal preference i like to use something that isn't so obvious for holding flowers in it for example you guys are probably wondering why am i looking at the back end of this like cow creamer like its butt well that's because this is going to turn into a flower vase too because i don't like to just put them and things that you can traditionally expect. Talk about that in a minute. But what you wanna do is you wanna take your flower bouquet, whatever flowers you have, and literally the sky's the limit. Sometimes people get a full bouquet and it looks really pretty all together, but it could actually look visually stunning if you separate it. So even though this looks really good together, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate these and make them something different and so unique. I'm gonna be using kitchen scissors. These are just regular old kitchen scissors and you can get them in any type of kitchen cutlery kit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flower vase, whatever it is that you're gonna be arranging the flowers in, and for me, that's this cup, this glass cup, and you're gonna measure the flower that it is that you have so that it matches the size of the vase. And you want it so it's just sticking out. So in this case, it's gonna be like right around here. And what we want is a really nice thick top of the flower, you know, the, the flower bouquet within the vase. So you wanna measure it so that the flower, the rose or whatever it is, is going to stick in the bottom of the flower vase, but the top of it is going to be, you know, there's enough room for it to, you know, sit with all of its friends, but it'll make a nice lush, you know, top head. It comes up to this little knuckle space. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little knob right here. And it's important that we snip right above that. And then you're gonna pick off the leaves at the base, just like this, and then put that one first in there. And you might have to adjust it a little later on, but we'll see. So I already have another rose that was cut, and we're gonna put that in there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here so you can watch me do it. And I'm gonna put these stems on the side, I'm not gonna throw them away, they're actually gonna be going into my compost bin. So the next thing I wanna do is this next flower that is gonna be added to my bouquet, I'm gonna pick off its leaves, and it's important that you pick off the leaves because they will get the water really dirty and filthy if the leaves sit in there for too long. I'm sure you guys know this by now, but if you don't, now you know. I'm gonna measure it the same height, like the same way that I did with the other one. I can pretty much eyeball at this point and drop it in there. So do you see how even just the three of these together, it's really starting to come together pretty nicely? That's what it is that I do. If you wanna make it easier for yourself, you can actually use the other flower that you've arranged and that you've cut to measure the next one and just kind of cut, that, cut them at an angle, pop those leaves off. Okay, I'm thinking I wanna work with these little guys. Here's the little knob right here. Keep in mind that if you have one longer than the others, it's gonna be the one that stands out the most. And because this one is so pretty, this is gonna be my little standouty. Some of these are from my previous bouquet, so I'm just gonna add them in there too as a little fluff action. And literally, look how beautiful that is. It looks put together, it looks well organized, it looks way more expensive than it actually was. So this one is done. So I'm gonna put this aside for now. 
The next thing that it is that I want to talk to you guys about, which is what I said earlier, and what I kind of briefly touched on earlier, in order to make a bouquet really kind of like stand out, you want to switch up what you're putting them in and really think outside of the box. So for this case, I'm using this cow creamer. I don't know what it was about this cow creamer, but I loved it so much. I'm putting my, my finger over his mouth because I don't want him to pour out water if I tilt him or anything like that. So if you guys are like, what is she doing? That's why. Any type of container that has a hole in it that would hold water could be an amazing or really interesting eye-catchy flower vase. Now because this little guy is so small here, I want to be mindful about what it is that I'm putting in this flower vase because we don't have a whole lot of space to work with. And for that, reason I'm probably gonna work with these little guys because they were gonna get cut down regardless so I'm just gonna snip the bottom of this plant and I'm gonna tuck him right in the corner like so and I'm gonna do it for these guys as well snipping them at an angle and arranging them and maybe a few tiny little buds with full blo blossoms full blooms and new blooms so look how interesting that is. So we're pretty much just done with that one, just filling that up with flowers a little bit. I'm gonna put him over here for now. So you guys can see. And another idea that it is that I had is something like this. This is this holographic, iridescent, I don't know what you would call this, French press that I received as a gift from my mom. I use more of a pour over when I make my coffee for it. So for this reason, I'm gonna be using the rose in order to put it inside of this vase to make a really interesting eye-catching flower vase. And just like I did with the other ones, I'm just gonna measure it and see, and of course it hits that knob right perfectly if it doesn't hit the knob perfectly don't worry about it you guys you know don't put so much pressure on you on yourselves for perfection at the end of the day it's just something visually stunning and beautiful that you have in your space or that you're giving to a friend that makes them feel good and that's what it should it shouldn't be stressing you out it's just flower arrangement like don't kill yourself over you know it's not perfect it's not what just said like it's okay so I pretty much can eyeball it at this point and I'm cutting these guys down do you see how this rose sticks out a little bit more than the other ones so now it's kind of awkward and weird I'm gonna cut him down a little bit more because he's so he like look listen to me like uh, giving them names and stuff like that but because this bouquet is so different and because it's so colorful because I'm inspired by the vase that it, it is that it's gonna be sitting in I'm gonna take the flowers that are more bright and pretty and that's the one not bright and pretty but the ones that are more eye-catching and have more color so if you look at these guys these were like a soft dusty pink some green and some white well now I'm gonna take my yellows I'm gonna take my reds because I think that this will be visually stunning when an eye catching when you put it in a bouquet. So that's where this guy's coming from. And also, I just happened to have these rosemary sprigs that were on sale at the at the floral shop. Oh my god, this is so tough. For there we go. For two dollars as an earth mama. Rosemary is perfect right now because we have Mars and Mars and Aries. So I really want something that stands out. And do you see how we just broke that up? Like look how beautiful that is. Like how eye-catching I'm obsessed I'm obsessed if you walk by and see this somewhere you're gonna be like damn and all of it came from one bouquet all right you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and take my leftovers from the plants that I cut down their stems and their leaves I'm gonna add them to my compost bin I'm gonna go ahead and then rearrange these flowers put them where I think that they best should go this one's probably gonna go on my office desk to remind me that I'm a boss ass bitch because look at it come on now like this is the color of like unicorns and love and passion and fire and intensity and that's me in a nutshell but then also there's this like soft side to me this feminine energy this goddess vibes this nice delicate come give me a hug everything's gonna be okay bouquet and this problem this one's probably gonna go on my altar because of course it is and then this one's probably gonna go next to my bed oh see that's why i covered his mouth because it looks like he's like vomiting whatever dude but anyways he's gonna go by my bed for now probably with some of these little springs in order to give this little spring energy going. You know, when I wake up, I wanna be able to see and start my day with, you know, flowers in my face. Like, how else would you wanna do it? So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you guys are wondering, Jess, where is your face? My face is hiding. Wonder why? Because I have allergies. You can't tell with all these flowers around, but literally, I have allergies, you know, 
just driving me crazy right now, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna let that stop me from living my best life when it comes to working with flowers and crystals. I hope that you are well wherever you are. I'm sending you guys all of my love. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and then that if you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you later. Bye. So here's a look of what we've created today. This one's for the altar. This one's for my office and the other one's for my bedroom. The bedroom bouquet in full glory. The roses at the altar. And my boss bitch bouquet doing her thing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're following me on Instagram for more videos and clips like this.